Welcome, it's Dinome. Uh, this video we're gonna cover SXP once again, and there's a good reason for that. Even if you don't like SXP, they just announced a bunch of things, things in their most recent AMA, and I don't think people really understand all the meanings behind those. So I want to elaborate on that, as well as I will show the APY that you can actually, actually currently get on the launch pad on Binance. If you stake SXP, you will get something called XBS. So I will estimate the APY on that, hint it's gonna be more than 100%, as well as I will show the on-chain uh, staking here, where I have more than 2000 SXP here. So you stake SXP on the app.swipe.org, and the current APY, if you simply stake SXP, is more than 80%, it's actually 82%, and you get the reward back in SXP. So it's actually quite profitable here, so that's why I want to cover all of this in this video. So this video is gonna be a pretty long one, we're gonna take a look at the most recent AMA, uh, I will show the APY, I will compare the, these things together, and uh, I will also give you updates on the prices. So before I show all of that, I want to also show that if you follow me because of crypto.com, uh, I will cover this supercharger later because this uh, releases in 20 hours and there's some things that are not exactly 100% clear. So I want this to be released first and I will play around with this before I make the video. So you can wait for that video hopefully tomorrow. So I uh, look for, out for that. But now let's get into the actual updates. The first update is the price of SXP. So the price of SXP when I uh, made the last video was about $1.3, now it's $1.67. So congratulations to you if you got in early, and uh, I think still it's 110 million market cap. It's still a pretty good spot to get in if you want to, especially if you watch all the video all the way through, and you may think if it's bullish or not. And uh, anyway, that's pretty good. And the second update is actually uh, Celsius token, because this token <coughs> is now uh, $0.92, and I do think uh, that it may be a good time to take some profits out. So if we take a look at closer on the chart here, you can see that the, there's actually a bullish, I mean bearish divergence here on the price versus the RSI. And uh, <coughs> it looks like it may be uh, topping out here, but uh, yesterday when I was looking at this, when I actually took the profit, I was thinking like, okay, it could be a double top here, but now it's uh, creeping here again. So it could still uh, move forward, but for me, I just took my initial capital out of this one. So uh, consider taking some profits if you already did, did uh, didn't, uh, if you haven't done so already. I made an, an announcement on the uh, Dinome uh, announcement channel on Telegram, so... Uh, some of you I know already took the profits here, but just as a notice, uh, consider taking some profits out. Now let's actually jump into the AMA and cover the latest news before I show the APY on the launch pad and the, uh, uh, the um, staking, how to actually do it. So this is the AMA and this is done by the CEO of, of Swipe called uh, Joselito Lizarondo. And uh, he answers a lot of questions here and this is pretty, pretty awesome. So Venus project, or the XBS, that is actually that you can farm here. That is the project. And the AMA continues. So SXP holders will garner most of the benefits from this new protocol because it is actually made by the same team. So XBS or Venus protocol, it is made by the swipe team as well. And SXP holders will garner most of the benefits. So we will look and see what is actually what it will actually mean. But at least for now, on the Binance Launchpad, uh, the highest APY, you can uh, put BNB here or BUSD, but the SXP actually gives the highest APY here. So that's as, at least what will happen, or that at, at least what happens. <clears throat> and October, they say that they will have another month that will have a lot of updates. So I'm looking forward to that. That's pretty cool. Uh, Swipe-based Explorer that will come. Uh, swipe cards, you can actually in the future um, there will be a migration of, of swipe cards to the Binance.com website, which means that you can actually manage the uh, Binance card as well as the swipe card on your Binance account. So you can manage everything and uh, link your Binance account with your swipe card, so you can use funds from Binance and you can uh, transfer funds uh, between the wallet and Binance quite easily from there. So that's pretty cool, and the migration will happen 30 to 6 days from now. So that's pretty bullish, I think when the uh, actual migration happens and the uh, news 
comes out. So this is pretty good. And the next one, when our Binance Smart Chain project launches, which is the Venus protocol, you can also wrap SXP uh, to the Binance, Binance Smart Chain. So currently SXP is an ERC20 token, so in the future you can also use it on the Binance Smart Chain for yield farming purposes. So I think that's also bullish for the price, so it's pretty cool. Uh, then another update, you mentioned a month back that an exchange besides Binance will also be issuing the swipe cards. And he says, confirms here that this is correct, but there's currently no public information on this time. But if there is another exchange, at the end of this AMA, uh, he actually gives a few names, so I will show that later. Um, USA launch, you mentioned multiple banks. Currently, they have only one bank in the USA. And uh, actually, this week, there will be an announcement for this. So, pretty good. Next one, Swipe thought about updating its own banking license. Yes, this is actually in progress. So, that's also pretty good. Uh, card spending cashback is now instant and some people have reported that they haven't got the rebate So it actually happens on the fifth of each month So if you have paid for Spotify or another service, you will actually get the rebate on October 5th. So look for that uh, Next one uh, when will the card ship in the US? Uh, the goal is by November. It could be December, but again once this hits the market I think it's gonna be bullish for SXP price Next one, uh, can you automatically top up your crypto card that you want uh, the crypto you want to spend on Swipe? He says here that yes, there will be reoccurring purchases and auto top up. So that's pretty cool uh, feature. A DeFi card is coming uh, with credit uh, opportunity. That's uh, probably going to be pretty inter interesting. And uh, <clears throat> October to November, there is something called Swipe X, and I think it's going to be a Swipe. A decentralized exchange that will be launched and I think this will be on the Binance Smart Chain because they want to avoid the gas fees on Ethereum. So I, again I think this is bullish for swipe once it happens October to November. So all these things together to me sound very very bullish. Um, again let's move forward. So referral program they will have a revamp of the current uh, referral program and uh, that will happen on October 15th. I don't know if you are that interested, but currently I don't have a referral code on Swipe, so I am losing money myself. So I'm really looking forward to this one, as well as the customer support. I still don't have my card, so I don't have any referral code available yet. So if you want me to use my referral code for this one, uh, you have to wait until I actually have it. So I hope I can get it after this one. And again, if you want to support this channel, you can use the Binance link or if you want the Celsius to, uh, the um, application uh, you can use my referral code and any other referral code if you want to support this channel as well. Okay that's just a, a little teaser there. <laughs> and next one, um, what is the relationship with me, between SXP and the Venus project? Here they confirm that the swipe team is actually working on the Venus project. <clears throat> next one, this was just an interesting take here. So what made you start swipe? And he says here that Monaco was just a white paper, 10x had issues, so that's why he thought that they have something to give to the market at that time. So they've been working on this for a long time already. SXP, will it never ever be swapped for another token and uh, be re re replaced by BNB? The answer is no. Okay, I formulated the question wrong here, but no, uh, they will never uh, swap SXP to BNB. So it will be its own asset. And uh, uh, somebody asked about Philippines. I thought, just thought this was in interesting that the Philippines, you actually have to have this kind of license, which they currently don't have, but they have been working on it for a year. So maybe it will uh, be available in Philippines also. And also somebody asked, why not go for metal cards? And uh, they just said that the plastic ones were faster to get into the market, which I think it's a good strategy. Just uh, get the product out first and uh, then uh, make it uh, nicer. Uh, that's I think products should be launched and not try to aim for uh, like having the best possible product at launch because uh, well of course you want to have the best possible product at launch but don't delay the launch because um, uh, a feature is missing so that's just my opinion uh, uh, and also he confirms here that Joselito he's actually in charge of both projects uh, the swipe project 
as well as the Binance card project. And he actually made those projects a little bit different from each other, which he will cover, cover later on in this AMA, so I will show that later. And also you, here he confirms that you can use swipe cards directly through Binance, yes. So that's, um, I think, pretty good. Next, uh, they are <coughs> currently sending the Saffron and Slate cards. So if you've got the wrong color card, you will get a, a free replacement once they have the actual cards again. And again, it seems like they just wanted the product uh, shipped to people before actually getting every single thing uh, correct first. So a lot of people had issues with that, but that also gave us the perfect buying opportunity uh, for Swipe at $1.3. So <clears throat> I'm pretty happy how it went, <laughs> at least for me. I know some people, you guys are super annoyed by Swipe because of the price uh, has gone so down, but uh, I think it's a perfect opportunity to get in if you ever want to. And here, this, this is just another cool thing, I think, when uh, I look at competition when they are doing things together. So banner ads on CoinMarketCap, and <clears throat> currently CoinMarketCap is owned by Binance, but it still shows uh, ads from Crypto.com. So Crypto.com, they actually had long-term contracts with CoinMarketCap before Binance acquired it. And they have to follow through on those promises before they can actually show the Binance and Swipe cards in the future. And then, uh, can you uh, top up your card or use stable coins, USDC and USDT to make purchases in the future? Yes, uh, I think that's uh, like a feature that's uh, the most important one here. Because currently, uh, a lot of people, they want to hold crypto and sell them when they are high. And that's why it's better to have USDC or USDT for the card purchases than actually using the, um, uh, the fluctuating price all the time. Here, uh, customer support, they are trying to hire as many people and train as many new people as possible. So they, we would have a better customer service experience in the future. And this is to be expected. Uh, the same thing happened with Crypto.com. They had a lot of issues. Uh, customer support was too low and they didn't know the, all the answers. And uh, now Crypto.com, the customer service is a lot better. They still have hiccups there also, but it was just to be a, a, a <coughs> expected on Swipe also. Of course, customers, they always want uh, the best thing and like the best possible service, but it's just not possible, especially if you just partner up with Binance and suddenly you have thousands and thousands of customers at the same time. So you just have to be uh, uh, patient with that one. And then uh, somebody asked, why just not go for a universal card? Why have four different cards? And the universal card could be a flexible card. And he just said that that was the plan for the Binance card. So the Binance card is completely different from the uh, swipe card because the swipe card you have to have uh, staked either 300 or 3000 or 30,000 SXP. And for the Binance, you can actually change the level when uh, depending on how much BNB you have on the Binance uh, website. But they actually, it, it's not set in stone. So they could change the swipe uh, features also if, they, uh, if the people want to do that. And then uh, somebody again asks the same question. Will SXP be sacrificed, sacrificed for BNB? Because the public sees the SXP value utility was taken and diverted into BNB. What's your take on this? And he says that he disagrees with this point. And currently there are 30 million, 31 million SXP locked in staking in uh, this one, which is currently not true anymore. But uh, only 1.5 million SXP was staked for the cards. So a vast majority of cards are actually the free cards. So <clears throat> most staking is actually done on chain. And that's why another reason why I like Swipe is that it's known not only about the cards. The cards, they are a dying industry in my opinion. They are highly desirable for crypto people, but uh, cards overall, they are going out of business eventually because of the why would you have a card if you have a phone with you, right? Because you can just do it with your phone. Or if you have a finger, maybe you have a uh, like a fingerprint thing going on, so you could use that and many other things. So cards anyway, they are a dying industry. So it's better that they are focusing on yield farming, uh, borrow and lending, and uh, <clears throat> another thing, uh, the DeFi card and other things as well. And also here, uh, have you thought about adding the ability to buy a piece of stock like Apple or Amazon using Swipe Wallet? They're actually working on this feature as we speak 
and they hope to go get it live by early next year. So maybe before summer next year, you can actually buy stocks on the swipe wallet as well in uh, some countries. We'll see how, how that goes. It seems quite ambitious in, in my mind. So I'm not expecting anything from this feature, but we'll see, we'll see. You can always have plans, right? And you can always say like, okay, we have plans for this, but will you actually deliver? That's the uh, real question, right? And uh, this was interesting. What about Swipe's plan for the next 10 years? And he says biometric based blockchain payments. So maybe you use your card, uh, your finger or your eye to pay uh, on blockchain with a non-custodial wallet. That's basically how the DeFi uh, wallet would work also. And then uh, what about Binance branded Swipe card? But you could use SXP instead of BNP because Binance card usually uh, uses the BNB, right? Uh, we are working on something to benefit both card holders and token holders on the same platform. So here he talks about uh, Binance having both Swipe card and the Binance card as well. So more info on this is to be released uh, later. And then here is the uh, two exchanges that are potentially partners uh, with the Swipe card, Bittrex and Coinbase. Because uh, the question here is, how do you provide liquidity and what liquidity providers are you already working with? So if they are already working with Binance, Bittrex and Coinbase, it would make sense that the exchange that will use the swipe cards will be Bittrex or Coinbase. If I had to guess, I would say Bittrex because uh, Coinbase, they are heavily uh, regulated and uh, Binance is not as heavily regulated in, uh, as far as I understand it. So Bittrex is probably the more uh, potential partner here. But anyway, once it gets uh, launched or released or announced, I'm sure it's bullish for SXP price uh, again. So all of these things, they have a lot of things uh, explained here, a lot of bullish news as well, a lot of uh, ambition. So we'll see how it goes. But uh, anyway, to ha having seen that they are actually building this uh, launch pad here and they have this XVS token, I think uh, all of this is quite bullish. And uh, now let's just uh, dive into the uh, APY, how you can actually get this. And then I will show the XVS project as well. So here we are on the app.swipe.org. So this is actually the calculator that you can use, ssxp-calculator.com. And you can enter how many SXP you want to stake here. And you have to uh, remember that if you want to stake SXP on chain, you have to have at least minimum 1000 SXP. So if you stake the minimum, you will actually get about two SXP per day. So about 16 SXP per week currently with the 82% annual return or APY. And this was previously about 24%, but it just jumped higher after they announced this launchpad um, program. So as you can see, 40 million SXP, almost half of the total SXP currently circulating went into this pool. <laughs> So a lot of SXP is here. And if only 1.5 million were in the cards, this is like 10, 20 times more than is actually currently staked on the cards. So a lot of SXP is currently here. And this is pr pretty bullish because this is available for the next 30 days. So a lot of SXP is just taken into con uh, circulation into this protocol as well as this. And once the uh, this actually launches six days from now and it, it has a price, then uh, we will see SXP in the Binance Smart Chain and there's probably going to be some yield farming on SXP as well. So that's why I'm pretty bullish on the price of SXP. And this APY you know already, but I will just explain how to use this. So you will need the MetaMask wallet. So you simply go to the metamask.io website and download the web browser from there. And then you need some Ethereum and SXP that you transfer to your MetaMask wallet. And once you have the SXP, and a little bit Ethereum, then you can simply come here, click approve, which is under this button, then you click supply, click max, uh, and then simply supply. And again, the minimum is 1000 SXP here. And I don't have any SXP rewards because uh, they only update this once per day. So I staked this about two hours ago. So that's why I don't have any SXP yet. So this will update tomorrow. <coughs> and you can actually see here, when I did the stake. All right, and by the way, uh, you can only claim these rewards once per week, even though the rewards are paid every single day. So keep that in mind that you can claim this uh, only once per week. 
and you can supply and withdraw whenever you want as many times as you want so there is no unstaking period or unbonding period you can withdraw whenever you want as much as you want so i could withdraw uh, all of this back all right now let's get into the launchpad so if we come to the launchpad web website uh, you can come to the launchpad.miners.com you can currently farm other things here also like uh, flm and the alpha token and the uh, <coughs> xbs is the one that we are currently interested in so you can actually use bnb to farm xbs you can use busd to uh, farm xbs and you can use the sxp to farm um, xbs and we are interested in the XP sxp because uh, this video is about this coin and uh, this is this also gives the highest apy you can uh, calculate these together if uh, on your own also i will just calculate how, how this works so <clears throat> i can calculate this one that the total amount of sxp stake is 39 million and the daily xbs is 135,000 uh, xbs per day so we just take the 135,000 and we divide it by 39 7188601 so this is the daily uh, xps per X sxp token so if you have 1000 sxp stake here so we simply times it by 1000 so you would get about 3.4 sxp per day uh, just by having your sxp here there's no uh, uh, fees here if you just uh, stake it here because it's on binance and uh, you can redeem it whenever you want and you can stake more whenever you want and you can claim the rewards whenever you want but you currently cannot sell xbs until it's actually listed on Binance. So it doesn't have a price. So you get about 3.4 XBS per day for 1000 SXP. So you can calculate that. But now how much is one XBS worth? So now we actually have to go to the um, website. And let's uh, take this one. So we go to the website venus.io. Venus.io, like here. So we come to this website and this is actually the protocol and they don't have anything here yet uh, which is a little bit of a letdown they have the launch app which doesn't do anything yet so it's still being worked on but you have the white paper here so here on the white paper we can actually uh, see here that the initial supply will be 20 percent of the total supply so the initial supply which will be allocated to the launch pool project on binance uh, on the first 30 days so there will be 6 million xvs given through that platform and the remaining uh, 24 uh, 24 million xvs will be farmable later after this launch pool project so the first rewards on the first 30 days are probably higher than after this one so that's why a lot of people want to farm this right now and because the maximum uh, amount of tokens is only 30 million tokens if the price of one xps is one dollar that means that the initial market uh, cap will be six million dollars and the diluted market cap will be 30 million dollars and i think that's a pretty fair price and uh, <clears throat> the reason is if we go back to the uh, launch pool here uh, like i said 1000 uh, sxp it gives about uh, 3.4 uh, xps per day right so if one is xbs is one dollar that means that you get about 3.4 dollars per 1000 sxp so if we calculate that 3.4 dollars if we times it by 365 days that's 1240 dollars and if you have 1000 sxp that's a little less than this uh, so 1000 sxp is 1000 times the current price which is about 1.6 so 1,600, uh, we actually have to do it the other way, 1,240 divided by 1,600. So your profit will be about 77.5% annually. So that will be the APY. If the price is double, $2, then the APY is also double. So you will have 155% APY. If the price is $3, then the uh, uh, APY will be, uh, what was it? Zero. Uh, no, 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 1.55 divided by 2 times 3. So if the price is $3, then the APY will be 230% APY. So that, that's how you can calculate it. And if 
the price of XVS is about $4, I think it's a little bit overvalued because even though there's the initial capital, uh, initial supply is only 6 million XVS, but if the price is $4, that means that the market cap is $24 million. And if we take a look at Venus, what is actually dr trying to do here? It is actually a fork of compound and uh, comp uh, sorry about that compound is forked on compound and uh, maker DAO. There's a spelling mistake here for some reason. So it's a compound and maker DAO uh, mixture. So they will have a minting of a stable coin here as well as there will be borrowing and lending stable coins and other cryptocurrencies with no credit basically means like over collateralized uh, assets or over collateralized loans. So it will be a borrowing and lending service and uh, <clears throat> Venus token, it will be the governance token on this and it will be a fair launch. So unlike compound, which had uh, like a team uh, token lock and everything like that, uh, XVS will be 100% only farmable. And that's another reason why there's so many SXP here, because the swipe team and big whales, they want to get the governance to themselves or, or a big say in the governance in the future as well. So that's why a lot of SXP is here. So what is the current uh, or the final APY here? Will it be, will it be $1? Will it be higher? Uh, it's a governance token and it's just going to be a borrowing and lending service. I don't know if it will be implemented directly in the swipe wallet or not, but it will be on the Binance smart chain for sure. And because of that, I don't think that much capital is going to go into this protocol. Because if it was on Ethereum, which has a lot more liquidity, the market cap could, could go easily to $100 million. And the market cap of swipe is only $110 million, right? So I don't think the Venus project will have higher market cap than uh, swipe. So that's why I think if it's if the price is above four dollars, I will be selling that, and if the price is about one dollar, I will be buying that. But anything between, I will probably just uh, selling it as well. Like uh, above three dollars, I will be selling it. Two dollars, I will probably keep it just to see how the project actually forms. But for now, they don't have anything to show to themselves here. So it's a little bit risky. So if you see anything like $6 or something like that, I saw some people saying some crazy stuff like, you know, it's going to go to $20, which will bring the diluted market cap way higher than Swipe. And it's built by the Swipe team. So I cannot believe that it will go higher than the Swipe uh, market cap. So just that in my consideration uh, will happen. Of course, I could be completely wrong, but I don't see this coin uh, coin going more than four dollars and about one one point five dollars is probably the fair value for this coin that's just my my thinking and the apy will still be if it's uh, one point five dollars the apy will be uh let, let's actually calculate that so we got three point four dollars uh three point four x v s per day so we times it by one point five dollars and we times it by three hundred sixty five days so this is the amount of dollars we get per year. And if we divide it by 1,600, which was our capital, if we put 1,000 uh, SXP here, uh, the APY will be 116%. So that's probably going to be the APY here, roughly. So that's why I'm saying that <clears throat> the launch pad with SXP staking is probably better than the 82% here. But the cool thing with the swipe uh, staking is that you get the reward in SXP also. So you will not be in risk of losing anything. And that's another reason why I put 2000 here and 4000 here, because I don't want to be uh, just doing one thing. And uh, that's another reason why I just bought a lot of SXP, because I saw all the news and the AMA and all these things being built. So we'll see how everything goes, but I have a very big stake in SXP currently, almost one Bitcoin here in, in total capital. And I'm, I'm pretty confident that it will play out well, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Tomorrow uh, you can expect the supercharger video. If you want to buy some uh, swipe or SXP and use these launchpad pl platforms, make sure you, to use my uh, Binance uh, code so you can get 10% discount on your trading fees as well. All right, I think that's it for this video. Um, 
uh, yeah, if you thought this was interesting, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and uh, I will see you on the next video.